Last week, we left the picturesque waters of Cariacou and set sail for St. Lucia. We got caught in quite the storm along the way, but the view at our destination made it all worth it. We are so lucky. Join us this week as we make our way north to Martinique. Crazy weather off the coast of St. Lucia. Are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it? I'm Holly, that's Ray, and this is our home, Sabado. Subscribe to Tag Along on the Adventure. We just left our mooring ball in St. Lucia and we're heading to Martinique today. It should be around a three hour trip, but we just shut our engines off and there's hardly any wind. We are just barely moving along, so Hopefully the wind picks up a little bit more once we get out of the shadow of these mountains. Wow, that's gorgeous. It looks like we're not the only ones out here today. We're surrounded. The wind is finally starting to pick up, so we are just making a few adjustments to the sails. We've got a reef in the main because we're expecting it to gust up to around 25 knots today. You know the drill, reef early and reef often. Whoa, <laughs> got me. There's the wind we were expecting. Sabado's doing great. Our speed is eight and a half knots. your boat and your skills. However, I get a little bit scary when I'm hungry. I always prep something to eat ahead of time when I know it's gonna be a bumpy ride. And this is pretty bumpy. The waves have flattened out and we're approaching Martinique. The wind's holding steady, so I think we're just going to tack our way into the anchorage. We've got some fish or lobster traps ahead. I don't know if you can see them yet. Here we go, we're coming up on two. So Ray is just going to steer us right in between. We just dropped anchor off of St. Anne. This is my first time in Martinique, aside from a little overnight on our way south, but Ray was here back in 2019. So I'm excited to explore, but Customs and Immigration is already closed for the day, so we're just gonna relax and then we'll head to shore in the morning. We're having an at-home date night. 
We got some plums, brie, these super plump red grapes. That is some goat cheese and a black truffle burrata. Oh, and of course some chocolates. <laughs> the perfect spread after a day of sailing. This is the first of many ham and cheese croissants I will be eating while we're here. It's a beautiful view too. We are currently in the North Sales Shop here in Martinique. We had them do a few repairs to our sail bag. It's in this sack. Okay, 600 euro later, we have repaired our one year old sail bag. I don't know if we've ever publicly endorsed our max sales. I think they call it a stack pack. But if we have, I rescind that statement because the zipper busted right off. I didn't film it because I was a little bit frustrated, but like the body of, I don't know my zipper anatomy, the body of the zipper broke. And the thing is practically brand new. It's just annoying. So we took it to a seamstress at North Sales here in Martinique and she took one look at the old zipper and said that it was about like an eighth of the size that she would recommend for a sail bag. So we had her put on an entirely new zipper and also add some extra fabric because the design overall was just a little bit too tight. There wasn't enough space for us to really work with. Yeah. So this is the new zipper. I didn't take any before pictures of the one that was on here previously, but maybe I'll insert something if I can find it. This is seriously so much bigger and it feels so much sturdier than what we had before. And then this is the part that broke on the original, like this part of the zipper and it was metal, which doesn't make much sense in something made for marine use. So this is a nice big hefty plastic one. And then she also, extended it so it's longer yeah that looks great and then she also added this much more fabric so that it's a little bit easier to bring around the sail that looks great the tricky part is going to be getting this back on because ray was somehow able to get it off without taking the main sail off so i think this is going to be quite a project but it looks like it's gonna rain any minute here so it'll be a project for another day in the meantime we have our sunshade wrapped around and then that wasn't quite long enough so we've got a towel on the back end here to protect the sail it's not ideal but it is what it is <sighs> right on schedule